very very similar to what you see now. In all fairness, like uh, he had a, such a fearlessness at, at a th- as a thirteen year old, and the confidence, the self, his self belief and confidence was was like no other really. I mean, you'd see him demanding the ball off um, big characters in a group, like under sixteen players. You didn't normally, you wouldn't normally see that from a young lad coming into the into the group. He, they'd be quite timid and and reserved. But Jude was so demanding; he was that desperate to win the game and be the best player on the pitch, even at such a young age. He, he would, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, wouldn't matter to him what age group he was with or who was who was around him. He would still be that demanding youngster that that we that we see now you know and and that was just his desire to be the best player that was on the pitch um but yeah i mean it's it's a, it's a great great story of how he's gone on to develop obviously we saw him he was with us at such a young age where you know there was there was bits to his game that he still needed to improve on and i'm sure he'll tell you that um but yeah his his character and that is he's he's matured so so well you know, I think there was certainly times in the in the under sixteens where you know he pushed the boundaries, and and Mike Dodds will agree with that, and Jude will agree with that. Like any other youngster would, they always push the boundaries at times. And um, but you, you know he's he's he, he's he's on the right path. Uh, he, he's on the right path, and he's developed nicely into into one of the world's best players now, hasn't he? No, you, you're probably right in saying that. I, as far as I can remember, obviously going back to Jude as the thirteen-year-old and being in the the sixteens, I I don't think there has been too many difficult times for him, it, you know. It, but that that's the thing with him, and and I think we we're all seeing that now. No matter what you throw in front of him, what challenge you throw in front of him, um, what obstacle, he always seems to smash through that obstacle. So, for example. You know, many would say, well, that's tough, isn't it? A 13-year-old playing under 16s, you're sure about that? He's not quite physically ready. But he would he would break that barrier. Then it would be the next one. Under 18s football, are we sure he's ready? You know, it, there's going to be older older players than him. And um, is, it, is it going to be too much to take on? Again, he would smash that barrier. And he's continued to do that. And he's doing that now in the World Cup. Whatever whatever you throw at him, he's able to deal with and take it to the next level. And it's like, he's, it, to me, looking from the outside now, it's like he's just hungry for the for the next challenge. What else can you throw at him? And, and he'll, I'll, I'll tell you now, he'll be able to deal with it. There's one one memory that will always stick with me. We It was pre-season at the time and... Um, we, we, it was a head tennis tournament, but a 1v1 head tennis tournament. So we had a number of different nets set up. You win the game, you get promoted to the, you know, you go up the pitches, you lose the game, you go further down the bottom. Um, and obviously being a staff member, I thought I'd position myself on the top pitch to start with. So uh, initially I, I was beating most of the, the youngsters as, as I'd like to think I would be in a, a a pro that had just dropped out the game and then see Jude starts making his way up to the top pitch and uh, yeah we, we we start having a, a rally and next thing goes 1-0 up 2-0 up I thought like, okay maybe this is just me I'm having a bit of an off, the, off day so I get relegated come back up to play him again he beats me again get relegated come back up beats me again so he, it, I think he beat me like three times in a row and he was crowned the the head tennis king for that particular day but I don't think anyone else will remember it but I certainly haven't forgot it and uh, the last time we met up uh, when we went for food there was there was Jude and his brother Job and a number of the staff I, I did say to Jude I went I'm, I'm waiting for that rematch to <laughs> to hopefully get my own back but I, I think the way things are looking I don't think I stand no chance if I couldn't beat a 13 year old Jude Bellingham I definitely can't beat the Jude Bellingham that we see now yeah 